Hello, me fixing everything and uh -huh. because there is always something to be fixed. Let me show you uh, something I bought to uh, bleed my brakes. Usually I bleed the brakes myself and I have a video in the channel how to do it all using a piece of pipe and an empty bottle but you might want to be quicker you need to have the car running when you do that you need uh, to be cautious with the bottom part where you're pressing the brake it might wear out uh, the o-rings if it's an old car um, sometimes it takes a lot of time to be able to bleed the rear brakes uh, this thing I think it's a lot better um, in the garage where um, I was spending a lot of time before they were using um, something like this and uh, the mechanic over there was doing it on himself and was uh, very easy yeah so uh, I bought this one on offer for around I think it was 20 euros 25 dollars something like that so let's uh, let's have a look it's only in Polish so I have no idea what it's saying does it have an English somewhere brake bleeding kit very good um, I have no idea it's only saying in Polish I don't know Polish now let me see um, I generally know what is in the set this is for your uh, brake fluid that's uh, the hose that's the actual part that we need I'll tell you no one was using that bottle this was the there is a, a gasket here make sure it's in place Okay, the collected uh, brake fuel fluid goes in this tank. We got this <coughs> clear tubing where you can very nicely see the state in which the brake fluid is. I mean, if it's very dirty, you can see it. <coughs> and you can very nicely see the bubbles as well. Okay. It goes right here. Okay. Now I got two different types of bleeding tips. This one is bigger, this one is smaller. Or they're exactly the same. I think they're exactly the same on this one. So this one is spare then. We got one more spare as well. Here if something breaks, breaks off which is very nice and then what else you got I think that's a, a button yeah and another gasket nothing else then we have an instruction which is in Polish as well so let me see if we're fl filming properly yeah we are yeah okay so the gasket sits in here and it goes on the bottle. Now you put fluid in the bottle and it sits on top of the brake tank. Okay, if that's the brake tank, it sits like this. Now, for example, a lot of cars, the brake tank, uh, the you know, the brake fluid tank is underneath the top of the car and you can't get this uh, massive bottle. Yeah, massive. <laughs> So uh, you need to tip it up yourself, you know, with the bottle and uh, make sure you don't pump out all the fluid. Now, I saw someone on the internet using this one very wrong. The way you're using it, if you have the tank, okay, let's say you got the tank, and that's, the, that's where you put the fluid. This thing sits like so, okay, so you need to find the correct one. It sits like this, okay, and then... It gets threaded like this. It's very hard because it's Chinese. And sits like this. Oh, th this one needs to be threaded all the way in. And at least until the, the the knob here. Okay? And it sits like this. You open it. And the brake fluid, it's not flowing over. Okay? If you want to use. 
this bottle. I'm not going to use the bottle, uh, the car I'm going to use it on the brake uh, fluid tank, as I told you, it's very far in, so there is no space for such a thing. Now, the main, uh, I wanted to tell you that because I just want to make sure you don't misuse it and everything gets in uh, brake fluid because um, brake fluid is nasty. Now I got two types of uh, pneumatic fittings. Um, this one is a European correct one, it doesn't come with English one. It needs to be threaded in here. That's a bit of a loose fit, I think. I know it's actually pretty good, but I'll still put a little bit of uh, PTFE tape. I'll tell you this uh, breathing kit is a must. Well, you can do it with a lot of everything that creates vacuum. You can do it with a pulverizing pump from a, a glass cleaner a plastic bottle. You can. I don't know if you would want to, but you definitely can. Okay. What do you think? This is a 13 or what is it? It's 14. Not very tight. That's it. We connect it and it pulls. Let's connect it to some air. Now I put uh, a tube of uh, brake fluid and I got it hooked up to 100 psi. Okay. I want to tell you, I was thinking for a second that it's broken. Now, the secret is, if you put too much pressure, it will, did you saw? It went this way. So it just needs a little bit. Okay. Can you see it? Okay. If you press too hard, so what I was saying is that if you press too hard, it will return it back. If you press a little bit, you'll suck it. So that's the tool. Um, I hope the video has been helpful to you. It definitely will save you uh, quite a little bit of time and I will make your life easier. I hope it's been helpful again. Leave me a comment and I will see you maybe on the next one. Bye bye.